because if I keep it in the house, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Treated something that has kept me going every single day. I need my brushes. Love bird. Let's get ready. So, as you can see by the title, we're doing a get ready with me. Today I am hosting a friend of mine. She is coming over and she had asked me if I wanted to do like some sort of Galentine's thing. So I asked her like, sure, do you want to go get like coffee and like a little bite somewhere or do you want to come over? I'm down for either one. And she was like, oh, I'll come over and we can just like catch up and hang out. So I was like, cool. So me being me, I'm of course being the most. I'm going to make parfaits inside of champagne coupes and strawberries and cream stuffed French toast. I might even cut it into the shape of a heart. I don't know, but if you know me, you know I'm going to do the absolute most if I have people over. I have been sick for the last almost week and I am just ready to feel like myself again. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna do hair, makeup, I did my nails for Valentine's Day, look at how cute. And I did these myself, and they're not stickers. Cute little hearts. And yeah, so I'm going to bring you through the whole get ready process. I think I know what I'm wearing, but you guys already know that can go south very quickly if things don't look the way they're planned. So we're gonna do hair, makeup, outfit. We're gonna do the whole thing. And I have posted on my community tab, which like I mentioned, if I ever wanna like communicate with you guys via YouTube, I always do it through the community tab because everyone's able to see it and comment and we can like talk through there. So I said for you guys to give me some topics to talk about while I do this because sometimes it's just like now I'm putting on foundation, now I'm putting on concealer. It kind of gets like redundant. So I'll leave that post up in case you just have to go to my profile and then go to community I think and then you can see all the community tabs that I have posted. Um, so <clears throat> someone, I got a couple of comments i think there were a couple different types of like i don't want to say requests but just like options but one of them stuck out to me because it's something that i just recently started talking about again on my channel and that is um like healthy balanced eating and it's actually something that i'm really 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 passionate about um i just put my uh blowout cream in this is from monet yes i still use it i still have it it works great whatever um, so we're just gonna do this whole get ready process and I'm gonna talk about I guess like my journey with Balanced eating disordered eating all that stuff um, while we get ready and hopefully this will help someone I don't know maybe break the cycle or I'm just hoping that maybe this can break the cycle of You know all the the nonsense that we've been raised around and I'm gonna show you guys everything hair makeup accessories outfit all of it I feel like for most women honestly we especially our generation and before us like gen Z or millennials and before us we have grown up around very very toxic diet cultures thinking that you need to be 100 pounds like soaking wet if i don't mention what i am using i will leave everything linked down below for you guys along with the shade just because sometimes it kind of throws me off having to stop in my entire life did not really ever have issues with um, like weight gain. I mean, I feel like that's typical when you're younger, not for everyone, but for a lot of people. Like it's pretty easy if you eat a burger, you're not gonna gain any weight. You're not gonna do any of that or whatever. So my entire life, and you guys know how I eat, I eat everything, like I'm not a picky person. Uh, my entire life I've always just eaten whatever I wanted and I've been fine. Well, obviously with age, your metabolism slows way 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 down and once i hit like my 20s i started kind of falling into that toxic behavior of needing to always lose a certain amount of weight needing to fit specific clothing you know all that stuff that women deal with being someone that is very curvy i am on the very curvy side i have very very wide hips and you know, big thighs and all that stuff. That's where I gained my weight. And most people will be like, oh, that's not a bad thing, blah, 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 whatever. But again, with toxic 
diet culture and all of that, if I wasn't fitting into my size four jeans, I was, the world was over, I needed to diet. And when I say dieting, I'm talking, I have done every single diet under the sun, every single one. I've done paleo, I've been vegetarian, which that was had nothing to do with weight, but vegetarian, um, Whole30, keto, I did keto for a very, 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 very long time, and that was the most toxic one out of all of them. And throughout all of these diets, obviously, if you stop eating that specific way, you will gain weight. Like, you're gonna gain the weight back because of how much you're cutting things out. And I think it was last year I told myself I was done. I was done with this toxic behavior. I was done with always thinking that I needed to be a certain size to be happy because if you look back at when you thought you were big or fat, I don't like using that word, but whenever you thought like you needed to lose weight, you look back now and you're like, oh my God, I was so tiny there. You're never gonna be completely satisfied in that mentality. And I told myself that I was done with it. I was done putting so much of my value into my body appearance. Like I was, I was over it. I was done with it. I was done with the constant, I can't eat this or I can't eat that or I can't eat bread or I can't eat rice. And I became extremely fearful of those foods. I would be like, no, I can't. I was one of those that like, I wouldn't buy something because if I keep it in the house, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I think that this is something that a lot of people, my age especially, struggle with because of how bad the media was, especially in the 90s and 2000s, especially the 2000s. It was so bad calling these thin girls like fat or overweight or whatever. So it's like, that was always like the biggest fear. And after I decided I was not going to live like that anymore, I started really, really diving into um, anti-diet culture dietitians. Um, and I found one girl in Europe, she was, she's a French dietitian, and she talks about like why Americans always feel like they need to be on a diet. She was like, you know what, she came to study abroad. I'll leave her, her, her um, YouTube down below. She was saying that like she never heard of people always being on a diet until she came to study abroad in America because in France they don't do that. They don't stop eating what they're eating. Nobody's on a diet. They eat bread and wine with every meal and she's like I don't understand like what's going on that the United States like these women, American women are always trying to lose weight and she kind of like picked it apart and talked about it and I was like, oh my God, this is so true. And she was like, in you know, in Europe or in France, we eat and then when we're full, we don't eat anymore. We keep everything in our fridges. There's no like, I can't have this or I can't have that. But if you've never been to Europe, they have very, very small food, food storage areas. Like the way that we have these massive pantries, they don't have that. They only buy what they're gonna eat because that's all they can fit in their Thing. They buy fresh produce, all that stuff. There's a lot of markets on the street that you get like all of your fresh farmed things. She was like, it's crazy. Like if you just eat more whole food, you wouldn't have to constantly be dieting all the time. So I took that and I started again, I was really into just breaking my cycle because I was sick of it. And this is not like, don't ever eat better so that you feel better in your clothes. I think that anything that's going to make you feel better about yourself, do it, but just do it in a healthier way. When me and Tyler started planning for our wedding, I got my dress custom made to my measurements and my dress was satin, no stretch and low back. And I knew if I wanted to feel completely confident and not like I had to like pose a certain way, I needed to start eating better and exercising. And I told myself, I will not, I refuse to go on a diet. I'm not doing it. So I didn't. And the only thing that I did was balance my eating and I did eat in a calorie deficit. Now a calorie deficit, I feel like that is still considered dieting in a way, but that's if you let it fully cons consume you, which I didn't back then. I was the healthiest I have ever been. I was eating in a calorie deficit and I'm not gonna mention how many calories because everybody's calorie 
intake for their body type and their um, activity levels differ. And I don't want anybody to feel like they need to eat as much, I'm, as much as I'm eating because that will put you in a toxic cycle of thinking you need to eat a certain way to look a certain way and no. Just look it up. If you just Google how many calories I need to eat to be in a deficit, you can figure it out through there. Um, so I ate in a deficit. I think it was from like January. I started in January and we were getting married in May. So I knew I was not trying to lose weight fast. I was not trying to just drop 10 pounds in a week. That is so unhealthy for you. That balance imbalances your hormones. It's just not good for your body and your body. It just shouldn't be punished. And it took me all of last year to really, really tell myself that my body, I had COVID twice, okay? My body got me through one of the scariest times of my lifetime, of our lifetime, COVID, who people that were not healthy, that their bodies could not fight this thing off, died. My body has gotten me through every flu, every cold, everything that I've ever gone through. And the fact that I have treated it all of these years like it is just for something to be on display for people to look at for people to compliment i just it like really broke my heart that i treated something that has kept me going every single day like it was only a trophy and once i really really accepted that like my body is going to change all the time i'm only getting older and my biggest priority is that I am healthy because I want to live until I'm 80, 90 years old. I want to be able to be active with Tyler and go on our long walks and take my dog for fun walks. I love, you know, going and dancing with my friends. I want to continue to be able to do that and I have to treat my body well. Like, it's as simple as eating things that are good for you. Like, I love vegetables. I've told you guys that before. I've, I'm a vegetable and fruit girl. I've never been really picky when it comes to that stuff. I know that there are people that are. When I tell you guys, like you guys see in my vlogs how I eat. There is not one food group that gets cut out. I eat rice, I eat pasta, I eat bread, I eat candy, I eat dessert, I eat chocolate, I eat fruits, I eat vegetables, I eat ice cream, I eat everything. There is nothing that gets cut out. And I did that as well when I was trying to, you know, feel good for the wedding. I told myself I only wanted to lose about 10 pounds. And that was just because in that range was where I felt my most comfortable. It was where I felt like my clothes fit me at my most comfortable and I didn't feel self-conscious. You know, it was how I felt my most me in my body. Apparently, and this is all just from doing research, do not take anything that I'm saying as if it's scientific, although some of the things are like actual things that I've learned through researching, but you are only supposed to lose about a half a pound to a pound and a half a week. So dropping 10 pounds in a week is extremely unhealthy and you will just gain it all back. So I told myself, as long as I am going down in numbers, I don't need to worry. There would be times that I would only lose half a pound that week. There would be times that I'd lose two pounds that week, just depending on my activity level, what I was eating, how much I was eating, et cetera, et cetera. I ended up getting to, I don't even remember what my weight ended up being, I felt so confident and I didn't even drop like a massive amount of weight. I was going on walks every day, multiple times a day. And I've told you guys before also in my vlogs that my mental health really, really, really grips to exercise. If I am not getting out of the house and going on walks and moving my body and being in like outdoors and seeing people moving and seeing life outside, I, it really, really does put me into a depression. Like I'm not exaggerating that or using that word lightly. Like I get very, very anxious. I get in kind of like a depressed state. It's just not good and I know it's not good for me. I've seen it, I've witnessed it. It's not good for me. And mind you, these were just walks. I wasn't going on runs, I was walking. Sometimes with my dog, sometimes by myself, sometimes with Tyler. Every day I would wake up, go for a walk. Before I cook dinner, go for a walk i would listen to podcasts i would listen to music i would listen to worship i would do anything to just make sure that i was moving my body because again there are people that wish they could go outside whether they're in wheelchairs whether they're in hospitals and can't walk people that are paralyzed they are there they wish it has nothing to do with what their body looks like they wish they could just move and get up um i think about my grandmother my grandmother is very old she's i think close to 90 and she can't really walk. She's in a wheelchair all day. She goes from the wheelchair to the couch, 
the couch, to the bed, to the bed, to the wheelchair. And I bet that that woman wishes that she could just get up and be like, I'm gonna go for a walk. But she can't, she has to be wheeled everywhere. So I always think about it like that, like, your body deserves to move. It is what's keeping you going, your heart. Like, just think about that in the, 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 the easiest sense. Your heart, you wake up, your heart is pumping, your heart kept you alive through your sleep. Why would you not exercise your body to keep those things healthy? Like, that's, that's where I put it to. Like, I simplified it to that. I don't go to the gym. I don't really like lift weights or anything like that. Although that is awesome as well. And I was going to the gym and lifting and I felt so strong when I did it, but it doesn't make me feel happy. Like going to the gym doesn't make me happy. It doesn't excite me. So I said, I'm gonna do something that I enjoy to do. I would walk, sometimes I would jog and I would do it every single day. Again, because my body deserved to do it because my body was up and keeping me healthy and alive and it was the least I could do. And again, I never, ever, ever stopped eating dessert. I didn't eat like this every single day. Like I didn't track my calories every single day because if I was gonna go out to dinner or to lunch with Tyler, I was not tracking nothing. I'm gonna eat what I'm gonna eat and every single day is a new day. So if the day before you were like, oh man, I kind of, I indulged a little bit, which there's nothing wrong with, you should be doing that. You just pick back up the next day and go right back to your process the next day. I'm putting on this lash real quick. This is the Ardell Demi Wispies. This whole last year, I really prioritized balance, healing, the way that I feel about food. I ate what I wanted, I gained weight. That's what happens, like it happens. But I did not kill myself over it the way I would have. I enjoyed everything that I ate. I still ate vegetables and things like that, but I was eating everything. And I gained probably like 10 pounds. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. Do I still love my body? Absolutely. Do I feel the most confident in it right now? No. So what am I doing? Come January, I said, okay, we're gonna reel it in. I'm still gonna do the exact same things that I'm doing. I'm gonna make sure I go on my walks every single day. I'm going to move my body because my body deserves it. I cut alcohol for the entire month of January, which was one of the best things I could have done. It has completely changed my relationship with alcohol. I used to drink wine all the time, champagne all the time, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having a glass of wine with dinner or anything like that. I just needed to balance that out because for the holidays and all that, you're drinking and celebrating so many things that it can get a little too much. So for myself, I was like, I need to really cleanse myself out. I wasn't drinking as much water as I should have. I was eating, you know, everything. I was enjoying the holidays like, like I should. But come the new year, I said, okay, I know that come summertime, I'm gonna be in bathing suits all summer. Summer is when you wear a little bit of clothes, especially in Florida, it's way too hot to be in a whole bunch of clothes. I was like, I'm gonna start doing what I did for the wedding. That is the healthiest that I ever felt. That is the most confident I ever felt. That was the most balanced I ever felt. So I said, okay, I remember the calories that I took in when I did that. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And I've been doing that now since January and I am down, I think like four pounds four pounds or so. And again, it fluctuates, it goes up and it goes down. I don't weigh myself every day. I weigh myself on Monday and that's it. Just to see what's going on, what my body is reacting to. And again, you guys see, I eat everything. I eat my HelloFresh meals. I drink my coffee exactly the way that I want to. I just make sure that I am doing it in my deficit. And trust me, you can get all the meals that you want in and dessert and snacks as long as you are in a deficit. When it comes to somebody that like doesn't really eat vegetables or like healthy foods, for one, I say grow up because vegetables are good for you. You can't just survive off of chicken tenders and french fries. And two, if there are things that you're like, oh, I don't like broccoli, add a sauce. A sauce is gonna be the best thing. Your favorite type of sauce, whether it's ranch, whether it's um, balsamic drizzle, olive oil, salt and pepper, cheese, add something that's gonna make you like it because eating it is better than not eating it. So I always feel like if I'm gonna eat something that is on the healthier side, which I enjoy the taste of fruits and vegetables on their own, I don't need anything with them. But I know that not everybody's like that. Not everybody eats vegetables. Mix them into things that you know you love. You know how easy it is to throw broccoli into pasta? You know how easy it is to throw bell peppers and onions into an omelet? Like it's such little things like that. And then also like looking at certain things that you want to eat, but just looking at the nutrition fact and being like, okay, 
These tortillas are 30 calories per tortilla, but these are 90. Go for the 30 calorie ones. I promise you, unless you're doing corn tortillas, like authentic Mexican corn tortillas, they're gonna taste exactly the same. You guys see the meals that I make with my burrito bowls that I absolutely love, with my breakfast that I love. I eat avocado toast. I eat toast with butter. I have my coffee with my regular creamer. I'm not cutting nothing out for nobody. I will not be able to sustain a way of eating if I'm not enjoying it and eating it in a balanced way. I eat everything. Like I said, I put my lashes on. I just need to clean up. I have a little bit of mascara on my light eyelid. I need to clean that up, but I'm gonna let my lids dry real quick. And now we need to do the hair. It's 1020, so now let's move on to hair. Okay. And the usual, I am bringing you guys over to my bathroom. And I think I'm just gonna do a blowout. I'm gonna pull out my Tymo air straightening brush. This is not sponsored, but I worked with them in the past. And this is all I've used to blow out my hair. I'll leave a link down below and I'll leave the video talking about it down below if you guys are interested and wanna take a look. It works amazing. I mean, you will see. It's the only thing I've been using since, what, like, beginning of December, I think. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm just gonna blow out my hair and I'll see you guys afterwards. This is gonna be sped up for us to finish the makeup and get dressed. I need a haircut so bad. My hair is ridiculously long. But now we are doing outfit. And what I have in my mind is the Rouge BC Body, which we're actually having a sale right now. So I will link it down below for you guys. And wearing it with this set over top, red and white. So let's see if this ends up working. I'm gonna put you guys on my big tripod and we're gonna go back in the other room. Okay, so don't mind the background because if you watch my vlogs, you already know, but here we are. We're in the room. I think I need a little bit of hair oil. And the Tymo hair oil, again, this is not sponsored. I am just, I need a little bit on my ends. I really need a haircut. I haven't gotten a haircut since like October. And I, I mean, I need my hair done overall because look at these roots. My hair grows extremely fast and look at that. It's basically like I'm brunette. And that's my natural hair color up here. I have very, very dark hair. Like I said, I'm wearing the one shoulder rouge BC body with the pants and the shirt. And I kind of want to wear the shirt like off the shoulder. I need to close my blinds real quick because I live on a busy street and I don't want people looking at me. So let's put this on first. I'm not going to show it because obviously I need to take my clothes off, but be right back. This color is so good. It is the prettiest red and I'm not like a huge red wear. I'm going to put on and also I wear a size small. In this, you can see here it has built-in padding so that you don't have to wear a bra and then you guys know the functionality of the bottom. So now I'm going to throw on the pants to this, which I got this set on Amazon. I will leave it linked down below for you guys. I got it for Christmas and I wore it for Christmas Eve. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I have the button up that goes on top, but I think I'm going to just wear the button up kind of like open and like slouchy. like. I kind of like this, like a little cover up. I'm gonna be home, so I'm not sure what um, shoes I'm gonna wear. This is what it looks like right here. And then if I wanna just wear it like this, then I can just wear it like this. So I'm going to put on my lip and then switch my jewelry out. Literally picking up the first thing that I found. So we're going in with NYX Brown lip liner. 
I totally should do a red, but no. <laughs> this is one of my lipsticks from my collab. It's like a peachy nude. Perfect. And then over top, I'm going to use this because it's right here. This is the Chinola Skinergy Beauty Lip Conditioner. Now, let's do jewelry. So I do have some on right now and I'm gonna keep everything on and this part of today's video is actually in collaboration with Ana Luisa so I'm really really excited to be showing them I've already been wearing the jewelry so and least Ana Luisa reached out to me um, and wanted to give me some of this product for Valentine's Day which is perfect and I kind of went on that theme Ana Luisa kindly gives me four pieces of jewelry that you guys have probably already seen in my previous vlogs um, that I'm also wearing throughout this entire video they all come individually packaged in these really cute teal blue baggies they are carbon neutral and they're also doing a valentine's day sale which is buy one get one 50 percent off you can find all the information in my description box so right now i have on and i have been wearing this little k pendant necklace you guys know anything personalized is for me i love anything with initials monograms anything like that and k is for my new last name i haven't legally changed it yet but i'm going to this year so i have this little k necklace and then for my earrings i am going to actually switch these out which are also from anna luisa these are a smaller kind of like everyday hoop which i really really wanted because i normally just have like a big chunky hoop but these are perfect very very lightweight and you guys know i have very sensitive ears when it comes to jewelry so i cannot wear anything that is not real unless it is going to be safe for my sensitive ears and i'm so happy i've been wearing these now for when did i get them I mean, I, I posted them in my vlogs from last week, so I think it's been a little over a week and I haven't taken them out to sleep because that is the real test and my ears are perfectly fine, which is awesome. I also have in these little huggies right here, which I will show you guys a little closer. So there's two earrings basically in one little loop. So it looks cute because it looks like there's more earrings in your ears than there are. So I've been wearing this one on my second hole. And then I'm actually going to switch out the mini hoops that I had for the larger size. And I have them in this beautiful, I love the color of this, you guys know blue is my favorite color. It's like this lovely teal. That says Ana Luisa and this is magnet. This is a really thick like canvas material which is nice for storing your earrings. And these are the next size up of hoops that I got, which is perfect. They're still very lightweight. Like I said, I have really, really sensitive ears so I can't do heavy like super big earrings and these are perfect for again every day if you just want a slightly larger thing so that is what my stack looks like with my little necklace that i love i haven't taken this off i've showered with it and everything but that's what that looks like and that is the jewelry that i'm going to wear today so thank you so much Anna Luisa, for sending these over and basically giving me my valentine's galentine's really all year because i'm there's no reason for me to switch these off but I love them. They give a nice sparkle to the ear. They look nice and cute stacked. And then I love the necklace because it's going to be really good to layer it as well. Now for shoes, which like I said, I have no idea what shoes I'm going to put on. I honestly might just throw these slides on because like I said, I'm hosting. So when I host, I'm running around a lot. These are my Hermes Orin slides. I'm gonna be home, so I wanna be comfortable, but I wanna be on theme and cute. And then with hair done, makeup done, all that, it's cutesy. Now, for the last and one of the most important parts, fragrance. So, perfume-wise, I think I'm going to put on um, Oris 22, or 22 Oris by Letta. This is beautiful. I, I mean, I put a nice dent in this. It's fresh, it's clean, it's warm. It's yummy. So that is it for my get ready with me. I will show you guys how I look in this mirror. Here is a full look. Probably gonna be more casual like this. If I was going out, I would just throw heels on with this and make it very simple. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's get ready with me. Well, I feel like a different person from last week. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.